All right, everybody. So we're here to go over week two really quick. Okay, super simple. Shouldn't take us very long. Um, we want you to start keeping a food journal. This isn't about recording portions or calories or being a scientist. We just want you to write down what you eat. Yeah, and so for that, you have a few different options. So pick what's gonna be the most successful for you. So that could either be just taking the note section of your phone and writing down um, what you're eating for each meal, or if you wanna take it a step further, you could use some sort of food tracking app like MyFitnessPal, or you could do the old school way, which I'm a huge fan of, pen and paper. If you have a planner, you can write it in there. There's lots of different sections, but make sure you're writing down what you're eating for the whole yep. meal. And try to do it as close to the meal as possible. We don't have to be obsessive about it, but trying to think back, if you sit down at the end of your day and think about what you had for breakfast and lunch, chances are you might forget some things. So do it afterwards. It's also part of um, kind of like the next portion of this, which is self-reflection um, during each meal. If you wanna add this to your journal, you can, you don't necessarily have to, but it's about you know how you feel before you eat, whether you're hungry, you feel rushed, anxious, whatever that might be, just make yourself aware of that situation during the meal, um, whether it's like a really bland meal and you're unsatisfied or as you're eating it, your hunger is not dissipating and things like that. Um, what about the in-meal stuff too that you wanted to add? Oh, well now is a, the good chance to kind of continue what you were working on from week one of making sure you're putting your fork down, which I know I had a hard time this past week with that, but um, sometimes if you have that extra step of something that you have to pay attention to, it might remind you of a habit that you were working on last week. Yeah, and it, it, when you put that fork down, that's that's your moment to think about your thought process or your sensations during that meal instead of just blowing through it and then not even paying attention to what you ate. Um, and then same thing after the meal, like did you all of a sudden get like tired and lethargic? Um, are you still hungry? Are you full? Are you too full? Um, do you not even like realize what you ate? So it, it, it's, it's about connecting with how we feel before we eat, while we're eating, after we're eating. And it's gonna carry on to, we're gonna give you some tidbits in the coming weeks of like how to analyze like what that means if you feel this way before, during, and after eating. Um, and then the last thing is to record or make a note about what time you go to bed. Yeah, so for this one, um, Trevor and I both use whoops. So that kind of tells us is over here somewhere um it tells the nice thing about it is it tells you exactly when you fall asleep um if you have an apple watch sometimes those track it as well same thing with a garmin um but if you don't have anything like that i would challenge you to write down what time you got into bed and then if you want to take it a step further what time did you put your phone down that was yeah. part of the reason i started journaling this past year was because i felt like i was spending too much time scrolling at the end of the night on my phone and it just wasn't beneficial for my sleep, it's not, I mean, the blue light alone has been proven to not mm -hmm. be good for your sleep. Right. So just taking that moment to realize, okay, I get in bed at, you know, 9.45, but I scrolled on my phone until 10.15. There's a half an hour of your sleep that you kind of missed out on because you were scrolling, but just kind of taking note. Yeah, and so again, you'll notice week two is, is very simple as far as we're not asking you to do a lot, we're asking you to be aware of a lot. Though. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say is we're, you're, Again, the second week is not about making big changes with anything. It's about being aware. It's about making those little steps to just kind of realize what your day is looking like and how you kind of go about your day. Yeah, and after week one and week two, we really hope you all get to look back and see kind of like things you've learned about yourself. So we need to keep this beginner mindset, this learner mindset. These first two weeks are, if we're going through it with just like, I did it or I didn't do it, I passed or I failed, when we ask you to be like, what did you notice from these first two weeks? You're not gonna have as much um, like ammo or opportunity to create growth. So we need to find out what our weak points are by paying attention to how we do things that we can work on with the next. Yeah. Cool, well, that's it for this week. Thank you guys.